Welcome back to another episode of The Canon. I'm your host, Terry, and today got another top five list from Avengers Endgame. Today we're doing the top five scenes. Ooh. Oh, so <laughs> let's kick it off with number five, and that is Black Widow and Hawkeye on Vormir, the battle for the Soul Stone. I just named it. That's not even what it's called, but um, you know what? I think this is a really good scene. That could have been great. Uh, and this personal preference, this whole list is personal preference. I just personally feel that the, the drama is more impactful. And so, uh, when you put characters in moral dilemmas to make dramatic decisions, uh, and really crafting and executing the scene to evoke those emotions, that's when you get the best cinema, me personally. And so while it was interesting enough to have these two have to figure out who would die for the Soul Stone, you already kind of knew it was coming because once they were going to Vormir, you're like, oh, crap. But they take so long to get back to them that you kind of forget about it because everything else is going on. But when they get back to them, it's kind of, uh, you know, no, I'm a go, no, I'm a go type thing, which is cool. But I always wondered if in the moment it felt like forever. I was like, are they going to switch it up? Where it was like, no, I got my family to live for. And she's like, no, uh, you know, you, you're become a murderer. Uh, and I, I gotta avenge, you know, the rest of the world. I need to live. And then it's like, no, I need to live. And then they really fought each other to try to kill each other. And I know that people would have been upset about that because it's Marvel, but that just would have been emotionally satisfying to me. But I think they played out as best they could in going about the no, I'm going to go, no, I'm going to go. You got kind of them using their weapons. But then Hawkeye jumps and then she dives in. And so it, it, they really played it up to the last moment. The only issue for me is that I saw this with Gamora. <laughs> and so it was the same place, same music, all that stuff. It didn't hit as hard, but I think it was still one of the better scenes in the movie. So number four. Oh, my God. You're talking about hitting the heartstrings. Cheeseburgers. That's all you got to say. Happy Hogan with Morgan Stark at uh, Tony's funeral. And, and it's so great because John Favreau started the MCU with Iron Man, brought in uh, Robert Downey Jr. He's there at the end of Iron Man. He also played in the movie Chef that also has Robert Downey Jr. because he likes to cook. And so uh, <laughs> you're talking about just all that kind of mixed in together. He's just like, you know, what do you what what do you want to eat or are you hungry? And she says cheeseburgers and and. Favaro gives that beautiful moment of just like he's a great actor too and outside of directing people don't give him enough credit he gives that great moment of pause and and I immediately at first I'm just like okay cheeseburgers but then I'm like immediately I'm like that's what Tony said on American cheeseburger you know they call him back so oh man that that was that was kind of sad. And he was like, you know, your dad likes cheeseburgers too. It, it just, whoo, that was a good scene. Uh, number three, Thanos on the farm. The whole sequence. I really enjoyed the part where we see Thanos, uh, you know, kind of, uh, what's the word? Hobbling around the, the, the farm or the garden, whatever they, I can't remember what they called it. I think it's the garden. But but it's, it is a literal farm. So he's hobbling around. He's picking his, you know, food. He's boiling his water. He's got, his, you know, his dirty T-shirt on. I just I just love this idea of Thanos resting and smiling on the Grateful Universe. And I wish this was one of the biggest things that shocked me when they killed him because I did. I, I pictured either... Them coming to where he was and finding out that he was already dead and the stones were destroyed or something or the stones were destroyed or didn't work and they just let him live out his life. 
I didn't think they was going to kill him. So that shocked me. Um, but even the fact when they get him, it, it, it's a nice callback where they swift in action. They know exactly what to do. What did you do? I went for the head. All that stuff was kind of cool, but it was also cool to see Thanos again sacrifice. Say, you know, not only did I do go through all that to snap, but also got rid of the stones and it almost killed me. But that's what the price is. That's that's the that's me delivering on my promise. And then Thor killing him and everybody else, it, it just really cemented the defeat. And it's like, yeah, you killed him, but somehow you lost again by doing that. And so it just kind of reminded me of like the Joker in a little bit where it's like he set up this no win situation for you. And so that just kind of really put a nice bow on the defeat of the Avengers when they found out was nothing they can do. And out of frustration, they just killed Thanos. And so I, I like that whole scene. That whole little scene was uh, nice. So anyway, moving on. Number two, uh, which comes right before this, uh, before the farm was Tony, uh, going off on cap once he got back from space. And so Tony's all shooken up and, and, uh, the first thing he's like, you know, I lost the kid and him and, uh, Pepper reunite and he's still beaten down, but like, Everybody wants to talk about Thanos. Like, what happened? What'd you see? Any information you could give us? And he's traumatized. He just gave up. He was about to die. He darn near died against Thanos. He saw all these people dusted. Uh, his worst fears came true. And in this moment, they do a lot of callback, a lot of callbacks. And they do that throughout the movie. But this was the most uh digestible i think to me because they did these callbacks but they meant something and so when he was saying you know i have no one that said we needed a suit of armor around the world cap kind of goes back how did that work out but then you know all, all this stuff and he's saying one of my favorite lines he was like you said if we lose we do that together too well we lost and so this whole idea of tony coming back and not immediately on board with the plan, not immediately trying to go avenge. As he says, we do our best work after the fact with the Avengers. And so the idea that he is really defeated and he, he lashes out because he's angry at himself, but he's angry at Cap. He's angry at everybody else because they lost. And so I love he just rips that. And we all know the arc reactor's not in his heart anymore. But every time he does something with that chest piece, it always is dramatic. So he rips it off, gives it to Cap. He said, you go put it on and you go face him. And so, and then he collapses out of exhaustion and all that. So Tony's hurt. Tony's tired. Tur Tony's mad. I mean, it's everything. But uh, Robert Downey just delivers an amazing performance. And at that point where you just really feel the weight of what happened in Infinity War play out uh, amongst the cast. And then the final scene, which everybody probably knows, the cop-out answer <laughs> is the end battle. I mean, when you really think about this movie, uh, I, I think regardless if you absolutely love it or if you don't like it as much or if you think it's okay, whatever... I don't think anyone could argue the biggest part of the movie is this. Not even the biggest, but that's like, there's not, I think, three fights, if you could call them that, prior to the end of the battle. There's not a lot going on besides, you know, a lot of callbacks and some jokes after they do the five-year jump. And so it's just, it kind of moves along, and it, but it leads up to this point. And so it is the culmination, not not just the movie, but the MCU, where you have pretty much the entirety of the roster on display in this battle. Now, you can't see everybody, you can't see everything, but you know it's happening, and you know this is the fight and the one chance they got to win. So, uh, yeah, you can't, I mean, it, 
we could go down the line from Cap wielding uh, the hammer to Pepper and her suit uh, to Captain Marvel coming in, entering the atmosphere, destroying the ship from Scarlet Witch and Thanos. I don't even know who you are. And she's like, you will. And then she starts ripping my man's support <laughs> from uh, Black Panther uh, running with the football. <laughs> From uh, Spider-Man riding Milner, <laughs> Milner across the air, riding on the Pegasus with Valkyrie. I mean, you just got the culmination of the MCU. So I, I, I think that would be most people's number one scene. So anyway, that's it for me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know your top five scenes. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, if you heard it here, it's official canon.